Hello viewers, check this out. I just installed a spoiler on my 2016 Hyundai Elantra. And in this video, I'll show you how I installed it. What you're looking at is a factory OEM spoiler made for the 2011 to 2016 Hyundai Elantra sedan. This one I have here is factory painted with a pearl white color. Here's a look at the back. And the spoiler will be installed on the back trunk lid right here, like this. Now with this being a factory spoiler, it will come with heavier gauge tension bars that you install inside the trunk. And these will replace the original ones that's in the car right now. The reason you need the heavier gauge tension bar is because with the added weight of a spoiler, the trunk will not be able to pop open when you try to open it. And also when you close it, it will slam down really hard. There's one good thing about getting the factory spoiler, because if you went with an aftermarket spoiler, it will not come with the new tension bars. Here's a quick look at how the spoiler will look when you install it on this car. So let me show you all the parts that come with this spoiler and we'll get into installing it. In this bag, you have the grommets and the nuts and also a pigtail for connecting to the center high mounted stoplight. You also have some tape for wrapping the wiring harness. It also comes with these templates for you to mark the hole so you'll know where to drill. And this installation manual. First open the trunk and remove this trunk liner. It's held in by these plastic Phillips fastener. Now if you try to loosen the plastic screw, it'll just keep spinning. What you want to do is use pliers and grab onto the outside ring and then turn it counterclockwise and this center pin will come out. There are 10 more of these you got to remove. Now go ahead and bring the trunk lid down. To know where you need to drill the holes, it comes with two templates that you see right here. This one's marked left hand, this one's marked right hand. Now on this edge, you see the word fold? Go ahead and fold this. And these white strips you see here are double side tape. Go ahead and remove the backing on double side tape. Line this template along this top edge of the trunk lid and then press it down. Do the same thing with the other template. Now on the right side, there are three holes you need to drill. Use a center punch and mark the holes. On the left side, there are four holes you need to drill. And the reason for the extra hole is for the LED wire on the spoiler. Now you can remove the template. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, I'll drill pilot holes. Now drill the pilot holes on the right side. Next, I'll use a step drill bit and drill these two outer holes to a size of 5 16 inch. Now, the reason I'm using a step drill bit is because it will not bind in the sheet metal and it makes drilling a lot easier. Also drill 5 16th inch hole here and here. I move the tape up to the 3 8th inch mark. Draw this middle hole on the right side to 3 8 inch. You can use a tool like this to deburr it. This will make the edge smoother. Now 
Now there is a hole you need to drill underneath the trunk lid. That's how you tighten that nut. And to find out where you need to drill, they've included the template that you see right here. Put the template like this and align the edge and then drill this hole right here. Now you can remove this template, flip it over and use this template on the other side. Now I need to drill a three quarter inch hole. Use some rubbing alcohol and clean the hole. Also clean the bottom hole. Apply some touch of paint to all the drilled holes. Do the same thing for the hole underneath. Right here at the spoiler. On this side, this wiring harness you see here is for powering the LED light underneath the spoiler. Now that wire will be fed through this hole. Install this plastic grommet. Remove part of the backing on a double sided tape. And just fold this over like this. Feed the wire through the plastic grommet. Push the wire through the bottom hole that I drilled. Line up the clips on the spoiler to the holes that's drilled. Once everything's lined up, you can remove the backing on double side tape. And press down the spoiler so the double side tape will stick to the trunk lid. Install this 10 millimeter nut onto the bolt that's on the spoiler. And this will secure the spoiler onto the trunk lid. Here's a look at the nut that's installed. Now the spoiler wire actually needs to be run up to this big hole here and then I'll route the wire along this factory loom you see right here and into the trunk. Looking at the factory wire, you see these clips? You can actually tuck this wire into the clip here. Here's a look at the wiring harness. Here I'm using this long tie wrap to fish a wire into the hole here. Inside the trunk, you see this connector? This is the original center high mounted stop light connector. Go ahead and disconnect this. Now fish a wire from here to the wiring connector. Connect this pigtail to the spoiler wire. Now connect the two connectors together. Test it out, make sure it works. It also comes with these rubber grommets. Use it to cover this hole. Same thing for the other side. Now with the spoiler installed, there is added weight on this trunk lid. And when you pop open the trunk, the trunk might not pop open with the original tension bar that's installed on this vehicle. Now even when I lift this up, it's very heavy and it'll come back down. This is why the factory spoiler will come with these tension bar that you see right here. And you'll have to replace the original ones with these new ones. Now if you get aftermarket spoilers, you're not gonna get these tension bars. And you just have to deal with the fact that the trunk lid is gonna be heavier. Here's a look at the original torsion bar that's installed. This one here is left hand, and this one here is right hand. So there are two bars here. I'll need to remove it and install the new ones. Now Hyundai actually makes a special tool to remove these bars. Since I don't have that tool, I'll be using this one here that's used for removing drive belts. Now it's very important to have someone hold up the trunk lid because once you remove the first torsion bar, the trunk will fall down. 
So while you're doing this, make sure someone's holding up the trunk. Unclip the middle section. And then you remove the bar. Install the new bar. Now repeat the same thing for the other bar. Here's a look at the two new tension bars installed. With the new torsion bar installed, you can see the trunk lid will spring up. When I pop open the trunk, you'll see it actually go up. As you can see with the spoiler installed, this Hyundai Elantra has a nice sporty look to it. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Remember to subscribe and click on the like button. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.